My name's Sammy Musundi, I'm 19 years old. I've grown up in the area of New Crossgate, which is in the London borough of Lewisham. It's, it's quite rough at times, but if you get your head down, you'll get through it. The youth clubs kept a lot of people off the streets, kept the children busy, and then once they were closed, it was just that there was nothing to do, so people got bored. That's when trouble started because they were looking for ways to entertain themselves, and they weren't necessarily going out of their way to harm people, but people found it as threatening behaviour. I'd say the reason why our kids get involved in gangs, or people get involved in gangs, is not just for kids. Um, it's like a sense of togetherness, a sense of belonging, it could be peer pressure, it could be seeing older people doing it, which makes you feel like they're role models to you. So you're looking up to them, seeing what they're doing, you're going to do exactly the same. Originally the team was conceived as an estate team, which means that most of the people were brought off the local estates. I got introduced to Charlton community by a friend, an old friend from an old football team. He told me to come to a training session at the Charlton training ground. Big opportunity, I was thought, yeah, I can't miss that. And that's where I met Darren Phillips, the coach. We have a lot of players on our football team, which always means that your place is not guaranteed. It motivates you to make sure that you get into the team. Everyone feels they belong to the team. There's a good bond there. There's no, no one thinks they're bigger than anyone. There's all different levels of abilities. As long as a lot of banter, everyone looks after each other, and everyone wants to get progress, everyone wants to get higher and get the team known. The difference between being in a gang and being in a team, the team, there's no negative side to it because it's a sense of belonging, you work together. Whether you win or lose, you're still part of that team and no one's going to kick you out just because they don't like you. Everyone in the team looks up to Darren because he does make harsh decisions at times, but they're effective, so no one holds a grudge against him. Through playing for Charlton Community Team, I met Mark Leckie, um, who's part of the trust. He introduced me to the Skills Bank Apprenticeship Scheme, which is basically That's teaches you the grassroots of coaching. The things I enjoy about coaching, the, the smile on the young people's faces, interacting with them, it gives me a good feeling at the end of the day as well. When you do get paid, you see your pay slip, you're like, okay, yeah, I've earned that. And you haven't, you haven't had to hurt anyone's feelings along the way. I've got a daughter. Just the realisation of having a child and being responsible for someone else has made me have to change my life around. I want to give my daughter a good life. I just want to do well within myself, not necessarily be rich, but so I know that I've done well from where I've come from, just to, to taking a step up and set an example for other young people around my area.